everyone, we are from the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Our team protects and supports the safety of giraffe in 15 African countries. Together, we are going to explore and share a lot of interesting environmental facts with you. My name is Naomi. I'm Audi. And this is Martha. Welcome to episode one of Environmental Learning with the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Today, we are going to explore an environment. What do you think of when you hear of the word environment? Wherever you are right now, please look around you. So an environment is where you are and everything that is around you. Your environment can be your home, it can be your school, it can be your garden or a hospital, or somewhere out in nature like where I am right now. We find living things and non-living things in our environment. Let's start with the living things. Living things are alive and they reproduce which means they make new life. For example, as humans and other animals, we give birth to babies. Creatures such as birds and most snakes lay eggs and plants grow from seeds. Living things grow. Humans and animals eat to grow. Plants use energy from the sun to grow. Living things breathe, they adapt to the environment and they can feel. Non-living things are not alive and they do none of the things that living things do, which means they don't reproduce, they don't grow, they don't breathe, they don't adapt or feel. But non-living things are divided into two categories, the natural non-living things and the man-made things. Now let's quickly differentiate between natural non-living things and man-made things. Natural non-living things are things that we naturally find in our environment. They are such as water, air, the sun, the soil, and even clouds. And the man-made things are things that are made by people, and examples of those are like books, our clothing, roads, cell phones. Would you help me and think of more examples? All living things have five basic needs. What are basic needs? Basic needs are the things that every single living creature and plant needs to stay alive. These are water, air, sunlight, a home, and food. Let's look at water. If you think about humans and other animals like fish, we all need water for different purposes. For example, Humans need water to stay healthy and alive. Fish need water as a home and to breathe. Now let's quickly look at sunlight. All living things need sunlight to stay alive. But for plants, they need sunlight for the energy it gives them to grow. As for people and other animals, we need sunlight for light, warmth and nutrients. We also need sunlight to grow fruits and vegetables that we eat. We have come to the end of our time together today. But before we say goodbye, we would like to give you an action that you can do by yourself, together with your family or your friends. Goodbye everyone! And remember, everyone is an artist.